In this video, we'll show you how to create your own floor plans in 3D home designs in Interior Design 3D. Let's create a new project from scratch. Click Start Drawing and activate the Room Drawing tool. Now, click and drag to draw the walls of the first room. As you draw, you'll notice a prompt displaying the current length of the wall. To complete the room, double-click in the starting point. Draw the second room next to the first one. Remember that you should finish in the same point where you started. The program allows you to create rooms of any shape. To speed up the process, let's click Add a Room and choose one of the ready-made room templates. These can be attached to any part of the house. Once you've added the room to your floor plan, you can easily adjust its size. Simply drag the walls to get the dimensions you need. Click Show Dimensions if you want to double check the length of each wall. Now, Let's use the wall drawing tool to add a separating wall in one of the rooms. Very helpful when you need a walk-in closet, for example. Switch to 3D View tab on the left to take a closer look at the 3D model. It's time to add doors and windows. Pick a door type from the library and place the chosen door where you need. The program will automatically show the distance between the door and the corners of the room. You can use an arch instead of a door. There are several rectangular and round arches to choose from. Their sizes and design can be edited later. Next, let's add windows. There is a variety of window types in the program library. In the Properties tab, you can change the width and height of the window, as well as its position above the floor. The first floor is ready. Click Add Level to add the second floor. As you see, the program copies the walls from the first floor here. Delete the unnecessary walls and move the remaining ones as you need. In the Levels tab, you can temporarily hide the second floor and come back to the first one. Now, we need to add stairs. Choose a suitable type and place the staircase on the floor plan. Use the yellow handle to rotate it. Let's make the wall transparent and show the second floor to get a better look of the stairs. Rotate the scene as you need. You can notice that the program has automatically added a ceiling opening for the staircase. In the Properties tab, you'll find the additional settings of the stairs. There's everything you need for stairs construction. For example, you can change the number of steps and immediately see the changes in the preview image. You can also adjust the railing and baluster settings here. Now, we'll come back to the main working area. It's time for the fun part, the room decoration. Choose a room to start with and move on to properties. Let's type the room name here. Then select the material for the walls. There is a large choice of wallpapers in the materials gallery. Next comes the floor. Let's find a nice texture for the living room floor in the parquet and laminate section. Don't forget about the molding. You can choose from different types of wood to find a suitable one. You can change the ceiling texture in the same way. Experiment with the stair design too. 
Select the wood type for the steps, the landing, the balusters, and so on. Select the wall tiles for the bathroom. For the bedroom, we'll choose a wallpaper for the walls and a carpet for the floor. Note that it is possible to select one of the walls in the room and apply a different material to it. You can get really creative this way. If you don't like the result, click the Undo button to revert the change. You can also play with the scale of any material. Drag the slider to change the number of parquet pieces, wall tiles, or the wallpaper pattern. It is also possible to change the door's design. In the Properties tab, you'll find a selection of different door styles. Check the Open Door box to add even more realism to the scene. Now, it's time to furnish the rooms. In the Program Library, there's a wide range of furniture and appliances for every room of your house. Let's start with the kitchen. An accurate arrangement is vital here, so check Show Furniture Sizes to make it easier. Add the first cabinet, rotate it if needed, and place it where you wish. We'll switch to the 2D Editor tab and zoom in the scene to guarantee the highest precision. Let's change the measurement unit as well. Inches will make it more convenient. As you see, the program shows all the distances as you move the objects. We've placed the cooker and a few cabinets along the wall and see how much space is left. There are about 14 inches left for the last cabinet. So we'll choose a suitable one and go to Properties to change its dimensions accordingly. Now, it perfectly fits the space. Switch to 3D View to see what we've got. Next, we'll add a wall cabinet. Remember that you can decide how high above the floor it will be. Now, let's add a breakfast nook set and experiment with its design. Go to Properties to pick a new fabric for the seat covers, a different type of wood for the side panels, etc. You are free to change the look of any piece of furniture. Choose your preferred materials and colors for any part, from countertops to door handles. Now that all the rooms are finished, let's add a final touch, the lights. Browse the collection of lights in different styles and pick the one that will best match this or that room. Same as with furniture, you can easily change the look of every part. For example, the glass color. When everything is ready, click the virtual visit button, switch to full screen view, and take a walk through your dream home.
Enter every door and move to examine the rooms from different angles. Enjoy this opportunity to get a good sense of the space before you start realizing your home design ideas in reality.